Now, moving beyond regular basic mathematical operations, um, there are many other arithmetic operations that we may want to perform, such as, for example, square roots, uh, rounding values, sines and cosines, etc., which um, we cannot represent with simple symbols like the plus sign or the minus sign. Uh, so for those, if we want to perform those operations, we actually need to use uh, a collection of arithmetic functions that are available inside of C-sharp. What, uh, what do I mean by that? Let's take a look. First of all, I'm going to declare a, a variable. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to declare the variable of tau. And for those of you who may know me from other videos and stuff, you know, you know that I'm a, I believe in, in tau as a mathematical constant tau being uh, the value of 2 times pi. So you can see that here we have pi, and then we have tau. And there are many reasons why I believe this is easier for uh, mathematical formulations, etc. You're welcome to check uh, the tau manifesto on tauday.com. Okay, so, uh, so basically tau is the value of 2 times pi. Okay, and now let's say that, for example, I wanted to calculate the, um, the square root of this value. All right, so what I would say is I'm going to declare a variable, for example, which is going to be square, I'm going to call it square root. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a arithmetic function uh, that lives in C sharp, which is part of what's called the math class. Okay, so how does this work? Uh, there is an object called math. So we write that like this and with uppercase. And then inside of this object, if I use the dot notation, I can access a lot of functionality and a lot of different methods and a lot of different functions that are available inside of this object and that I can use to perform um, more advanced arithmetic computations. So for example, here you can see that I have the SQRT, which if I see on the description, it tells me that it returns the square root of a specified number. Okay, so if I do, if I choose this one and I open parentheses and I plug in here the value of tau, then what happens is that this function takes the value of tau, perform calculates the square root function, and then that's what it returns back to me. And remember, because of how what we discussed before about how assignment works and the order, this function gets executed first. Uh, the value of tau is read. The function performs its operations, however it does it. We don't really need to care about that. And then we know that this chunk of code, this function, gives us back the result of that operation, so the square root, the computation. And then after this is executed, it gets stored, it gets assigned to the, val to the variable sqrt. So remember, from the right to the left-hand side. We will see more about more details about what it means to have a function that returns numbers whenever we see um, uh, functions like down the road in this series, okay? So now what I can do is I can write to the line, I can write the value of sqrt, okay? And see what the result of that calculation is, which is going to be 2.5066 something something, okay? All right, so now we have the square root of the value of tau, Okay, and now we can, there are many, many operations that we can uh, use inside of the math class. So for example, I'm going to copy paste a bunch that I did here before. So we have the square root, we have the power, so that I can elevate tau to, for example, uh, elevate it to three, to four, to five, etc. I can calculate the absolute value of a number, which if you remember, the absolute value is that number in its positive form. Uh, I can round that number, so I can remove all the decimal part and round it up or down, whatever is more proximal. And I can calculate the sine and the cosine of these values. If you remember, the sine of tau or the sine of 2 pi is 0, and the, sine, the cosine of uh, 2 pi or tau is 1. So we're going to see that if we execute this code, we will see that... Um, uh, square root, power, absolute value, the rounded number, so the value of 6, and then the sine, which is going to be minus 5, so it's almost 0, but not quite because of the low precision of the number that I have expressed here, 
and cosine is going to be almost 1, but not quite again, because of the low precision of the 3.14159 that I have written here. We need to remember that sine and cosine, they both work with radians, so that's why 2 pi radians is 0 degrees, and therefore cosine is 1 and sine is 0. Um, how could I achieve a bit more precision with these two calculations, the sine and the cosine? Well, uh, interestingly, the math class uh, doesn't only contain functions, so it doesn't only contain functions that I can use to crunch calculations, but it also contains this thing called fields or constants, which means that the math class also contains certain values that I can read for and use for my calculations. So, for example, if uh, the math class contains the value of pi. So I can go here, I can substitute that three point blah, blah, blah that I hard coded, and I can get a more precise value of the value of pi by going here. And you see, this is a constant, and it tells me that represents the radius of the circumference, blah, blah, blah. So basically, pi with a lot of decimals, right? So if I type here pi, now I'm going to execute this code, and probably I'm going to achieve much better precision. You see? This is sine is almost almost zero, so it's minus two to with sixteen zeros in front of it, and cosine is like basically it's just one. All right, so um, you're welcome to go to the uh, math class reference inside of uh, the documentation in Microsoft and take a look at all the methods that are possible, so all the functions that you can use to perform calculations, and all the fields that are available as well, which are pi and the value of e, the golden ratio. Okay? Uh, no, sorry, that's not the golden ratio. Oh, oh sorry, sorry, that's the exponent. <laughs> sorry, uh, oof, that, that was a big slip. <laughs> okay, so these functions, these arithmetic functions, will be extremely, extremely useful uh, for many reasons, especially I like the square root a lot, I use it all the time, and then the sine and the cosine, I use them all the time. Uh, the power, I don't really use that much, because it's basically just much faster to multiply the value by itself like two times or three times. I rarely have to elevate anything to the power of six. I, I'm not sure if I've ever actually done that in my life. Uh, but anyway, um, take a look at the math class and see, and see what's available, and then there's a lot of good stuff there.